So here in this video, we are going to find out the IDFT and IDFT method. We are using this method in order to find out the circular convolution of these both sequences. That is x1 of n and x2 of n circular convolution. Okay. So this method is also called as Stokham's method. So first we'll go for DFT. Okay. Then we'll go for IDFT. So first we have to find out. So let us first go for the first method. So we are going to find out x3 of m. You can take any variable okay so x3 of m is nothing but the resultant of circular convolution of both the sequences that is x1 of n circular convolution x2 of m n okay so this is what we have to find out x3 of m the first step is nothing but it is given in the name itself that is dft so we need to find out the dft of each sequence that is x1 of n dft will be x1 of k we have to find out that how will you find out the matrix method that is x1 of k matrix will put which is equal to and one more thing i should tell you that the sequence length should be same in circular convolution always remember you can do the circular convolution if the length sequence is same that means here we have one two three four elements here also one two three or four elements so the both the length of the sequence that means elements should be same if it is not same you have to make it as same how we have to just put zero okay in order to match the length of the sequence now here coming back x1 of k matrix equal to wn matrix this is nothing but the total factor for uh four point dft into we have to do x sorry x1 of n matrix okay so this is what you have to do now here x1 of k what is that it will be we have four elements so x1 of 0 x1 of 1 x1 of 2 and x1 of 3 so this will be getting equal to what is wn this matrix this is nothing but the total factor we so just observe here this is nothing but wn matrix it is given as this one okay that is 1 1 1 1 here this matrix is here observe this is nothing but the wn matrix for 4 point dft so i'll just substitute that matrix over here 1 1 1 1 here also 1 1 1 so i basically write in this way such that i can remember minus j and opposite to that minus j here plus j opposite to that plus j here it will be minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 and the center one will be plus 1 okay into x1 of n we have to write it as column matrix that is 2 1 2 minus 1 i am just writing that elements here so we'll just multiply these two matrices let us see what we'll be getting so i hope you know how to multiply so row into this column so this will be 2 plus 1 plus 2 minus 1 next one this will be 2 minus j minus 2 minus j then the third row into this column this will be 2 minus 1 plus 2 plus 1 next the third uh, sorry fourth row so 2 plus j minus 2 plus j how much i will be getting let us see so addition of all this plus and this one get cancelled so 4 i'll be getting and this one also 2 mi minus 2 get cancelled so minus 2j i'll be getting and minus 1 plus 1 get cancelled 4 again then what else minus 2 plus 2 get cancelled here will be 2j plus 2j so this is what we got this is nothing but x1 of k next let's us go for x2 of k x2 of k will be the same thing so matrix equal to wn matrix no change in that x2 of n you have to take here so what will be this it will be equal to x2 of 0 x2 of 1 x2 of 2 and x2 of 3 which is equal to again this matrix 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 minus j minus 1 
plus j minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 then j minus 1 and minus j okay so this i got next which is oh sorry we have to multiply with what the elements of second matrix which is nothing but 1 2 3 4 so after multiplication what i'll be getting let us see how to multiply so first row into this column which is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 second row into this column that is 1 minus 2j minus 3 plus 4j the third row into this column it will be 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 fourth row into this column so it will be 1 my sorry plus 2j minus 3 minus 4j which is equal to let us simplify this one addition of all this it will be 10 right 7 plus 3 it is 10 and here it will be minus 2 plus 2j error minus 2 then last one will be minus 2 minus 2j simple you have to just add 1 plus 1 minus 3 is minus 2 then 2j minus 4j is minus 2j simple okay so this is nothing but x2 of k so remember one thing we have to find out x m, m right we got x1 of k and x2 of k before finding s3 of n i want x3 of k right how to find out x3 of k it is nothing but the multiplication of x1 of k into x2 of k simple okay so this is what we have to do now so multiplication this step you remember we have to multiply these two matrices it is not the matrix multiplication just you have to multiply i'll show you how to do that so let us try it first so x3 of k will be equal to multiplication of x1 of k and 2x2 of k here we are not doing any multi matrix multiplication so let us see that so the uh, x1 of k what we got it was 4 minus 2j plus 4 plus 2j then x2 of k we have here right here 10 minus 2 plus 2j then minus 2 then minus 2 minus 2j okay so here we are not doing any matrix multiplication anyways you know the role of matrix multiplication so here just observe 4 into 10 we have to multiply it is 40 next year minus 2j into this one we have to do so i'll just show you how to this uh, do this kind of multiplication here so let me just write here here it we have minus 2j into minus 2 plus 2j okay so we just multiply minus 2j into this one minus 4 sorry plus 4j then minus 2j into this one minus 4 j square right so j square value is what minus 1 so this will be 4 j plus 4 right so this one i can write it as 4 plus 4 j next 4 into minus 2 minus 8 then 2 j into this one so i'll do that one also 2 j into minus 2 minus 2 j so how much i'll be getting see here 2j into this one minus 4j then 2j into this one minus 4j square again j square value is minus 1 so this will be minus 4j plus 4 so 4 minus 4j so this is nothing but x3 of k let us go for finding out x3 of m since we got x3 of k x3 of n we, we have to take idft okay remember now we have going uh, to enter into the idft field so it is nothing but 1 by n 1 by n into wn matrix conjugate of that into x3 of k okay whatever we got now now n is nothing but the 4 point eft that is 1 by 4 it remains as it is and uh, x wn conjugate what what do you mean by what wn conjugate matrix so see here we have wn okay this both are same thing only now here this one you observe this matrix is nothing but wn conjugate so what are the changes you have to make so always remember you are just making the changes in the imaginary part right 
imaginary part that means if you observe here whatever the minus j was there we are making as plus j if plus j is there we are making as minus j that's it real numbers there won't be any changes if it is plus 1 or minus 1 it doesn't matter no changes in conjugate remember imaginary part sign will change that means plus j will become minus j minus j will become plus j so here 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 this will become plus j minus 1 minus j here minus j here plus j minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 okay and we have to multiply with what x3 of k what is x3 of k just now we found out so let me show you again this one okay so that is 40 4 plus 4j minus 8 4 minus 4j so let us write the multiplication part so 1 by 4 as it is uh, first row into again the same thing same multiplication method so this will be 40 right 40 plus 4 plus 4j minus 8 plus 4 minus 4j okay second row into this column again so it will be 40 plus 4j plus 4j square plus 8 minus 4j plus 4j square next third row into this column this will be simple 40 change the sign minus 4 minus 4j minus 8 minus 4 plus 4j just change the sign here because minus 1 is there okay fine the fourth row into this column so this will be 40 minus 4j minus 4j square plus 8 plus 4j minus 4j square okay so here first row we will write the answer so any cancellation is there or uh, anything yes plus 4j minus 4j get cancelled okay then 4 plus 4 is 8 and here minus 8 is there so this 3 get cancelled so remaining is 1 by 4 into remaining is 14 first row second row we will see anything get cancelled plus 4j minus 4j get cancelled anything else this one uh, plus 4j square right what is plus 4j square so i'll just write it over here so what is left out 40 plus 4j square 4j square is 4 into minus 1 j square value is minus 1 plus 8 then again plus 4j square is 4 into minus 1 so here you can see it is 40 minus 4 plus 8 minus 4 so this 3 get cancelled right 8 minus 8 is 0 so here again 40 third row okay third row let us see anything is getting cancelled uh minus 4j plus 4j get cancelled here minus 8 no it is not getting cancelled so this will be 40 minus 4 minus 8 minus 4 so how much it will be 24 right the fourth row minus 4j plus 4j get cancelled here how much it will be 40 minus 4j square so minus 4 into minus 1 plus 8 again minus 4j square so minus 4 into minus 1 so 40 plus 4 plus 8 plus 4 so it will be 56 divide this one how much you will be getting 10 divided by 4 okay throughout 10 10 6 this will be 14 14 okay so this is nothing but i got it x3 of m always remember if you are getting any imaginary part in the answer of x3 of m circular convolution then it is wrong always remember it cannot be imaginary imaginary number should not be there always remember imaginary number that means j j term should not be there in this okay so final answer you can write it as x3 of m which is equal to 10 10 6 14